Hey everyone, your host Nick here, and you're listening to the official podcast of 4playernetwork.com. First, I want to remind you that we are a fully independent podcast, quite literally just a group of friends who have met once a week since 2008 to talk about video games. If you like our show, the best thing you can do for us is be active in our community. I recommend Discord. You can subscribe to our show, leave us a review on your preferred podcast service, or if you're so inclined, bless us with your patronage on Patreon or Twitch. If you're new, all you need to know is this. We record these shows live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Central on Twitch, and the audio version launches on all podcast services on Friday morning. Patreon and Twitch supporters will even get the show a day early on Thursdays. But if you want to know more about any of this, about what we do, or find all the important links you need, simply visit us at 4playernetwork.com. And that's it. This is the only ad you'll ever hear on this show. So with that said, thank you for listening. Let's get started. Welcome to Four Player Podcast, episode 772. It is October 24th, 2023. Uh, I'm your host, Nick Henderson, and uh, joining me tonight is Brad Simons. Hello. (laughs) He has so much energy during the roll call, and then it's like during the actual show, he's just like, hello. Uh, I swear to God, everybody, he sounded much better a minute ago. Uh, Nolan's joining us. Hello, Nolan. Hey, how's it going, everybody? There we go. Crispy. Oh, hi! <laughs> and Chris Davis. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Chris, Slate, Slate is asking what number of podcasts I said. I said 772. I'm going to be totally honest. I could be wrong about that. That is so, correct. Yeah, it, I, am, I am correct? You are okay. correct. Cool. Wonderful. Yeah, but, but, but the Twitch feed says we're on 712. Oh, yeah. No! We're, we're, so Chris Davis fucked it up. Years ago. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be honest though. I don't. We are. We're running a little bit, behind, a little bit behind tonight. I will say this: it's, Chris Davis, you finally built your new rig. So, uh, yeah. Congratulations on that. It just kind of happened to um, delay us a little bit tonight getting started. So I've if you're watching us live some... on the feed, we've been dealing with some technical difficulties. But that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about video games. We did not record a show last week. Uh, that was predominantly because we are a couple things. One, we are trying to uh, do a couple more of these, you know, like co-op nights more than we we, we have than we've been doing in the past, I suppose. And last week seemed like a really good opportunity to do one, especially considering this week is Spider-Man Two, next week is Alan Wake Two, and probably Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Uh, we're going to talk about that next week. So a lot of stuff coming up, and not to mention November. November is going to be wild. So mm-hmm. uh, we played Phasmophobia together last week, which was great fun. Um, check that out if you haven't it's up on it's in our archives on twitch uh, and i have a few clips that were set aside so thank you to everybody who clipped stuff out i want to post those hopefully on youtube we'll see what happens um but it was a great time good time but before we get too far i just want to remind everybody that we have officially changed podcast recording nights in fact this is the first kind of like week within our new production schedule i suppose we're recording a Shows on Tuesday now. I'm editing on Wednesday, and for people for audio listeners, they'll be showing up on your podcast feeds on Friday mornings. So hopefully all goes well there. But if you need to change your calendar reminders, change it to Tuesday. That that's the plan going forward. Do you um, think anyone has a calendar reminder? I don't podcast? fucking know, but you, <laughs> I I mean, you never Nick, know. I Nick does. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do because I host this thing, so it's a nice nice reminder sometimes. Um, but uh, yeah, fuck. We're gonna talk about Spider Man Two tonight. We're gonna talk a- talk about some other stuff. Uh, next week's Halloween, so I don't know what the plan is next week. It I know we said we just changed to Tuesday, and that is the plan. But next week's probably not gonna be on Tuesday because next week Tuesday is Halloween. Yeah. So uh, keep that in oh, mind. Next week will be kind of another. Shit. I posted about this in Discord. Nobody responded. I think no one probably reacted to it because no one's on top of that shit. But he didn't. But nobody like said which day they want to do so just expect next week will be kind of another weird recording week we will record something because lord knows i want to talk about alan wake 2 and i will hopefully at that point have played more of super mario brothers wonder and we'll uh, have some good conversations about those but tonight i think it's all about spider-man 2 Uh, i want to talk a little bit about insomniac and then we have some indie games to talk about courtesy of brad you've been playing a bunch of stuff so i apologize i apologize stuff, right? they're not cool big budget games and i i know i i, I why are they, they are cool though 
<laughs> when when I look at the well, you know, whatever. You know, when I look at the when I look at the tweet, I'm like, okay, which one is he putting in the tweet? Because those are the ones I know I for sure have to talk about. Um, otherwise, he'll get mad at me. But I noticed you didn't mention Wargroove too, and I'm like, well, it's, it's also Does Nick about hate it, Wargroove too. No, dude, I put it, the tweet is the tweet is determined by how many characters I can fit mm. in the tweet. There um, are limits, my friend. There well, are I'll limits. Say, I'll probably save. Uh, also, who gives a shit about but, Twitter anymore? Nobody, nobody, nobody follows us. Nobody of any import follows us on Twitter anymore. Twitter's well, going down the shit. Nobody the of existing import follows us on anything else. So hey, uh, you know, you do it good. You know, I wasn't quite ready to go that far with the uh, with the what do you call it? The uh, how many people follow us on, humor? on threads? Well, my I, point, I my point is that Twitter sucks ass now. Well, sure. I was rem- yeah. I was reminded today. I completely forgot that if you try to log, if you try to, cl- if someone posts a link to a tweet and you click on it and say you either don't have a Twitter account or you're not logged into your Twitter account, you just straight up can't see their feed. Um, I thought they they did that a while back when Elon first took over, and then I thought there was so much noise that they backed they backpedaled on it, but they didn't. So, um, mm. you know, mm. the only people seeing and engaging with any of our tweets these days are people who are perpetually logged in, um, and you know who have few enough are following few enough people that they still see our tweets to begin with. So, you know, it's just a shitty platform now. I'm, I feel I think I feel pretty comfortable saying that. Uh, mm. So, you know, it is what it is. That's why if you're following us on Twitter or anywhere else and you would rather not, you can jump into our Discord. I'd say that's probably the best place to do it. Um, it's super active. We, the community is, is always in there talking about games and uh, we post announcements and stuff when we go live there. So make sure you're Or in just Discord. send Nick an email. Or, or he, you know, we do have a contact form on our website. You could technically do that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, Discord's the place to be. Discord.gg slash four player um let's just jump right into it tonight you know we'll we'll you know we'll see how much time we have left we'll talk fancy critic stuff later if there's anything to talk oh, about there oh we there is new there i mean there's stuff man there's like stuff games coming out scores points there are, are being definitely made pickups definitely crazy pickups out. here's the one thing about shifting from thursday to tuesday uh, is that Thursday was the one good thing about Thursday was that bids mm. closed on Thursday, so we always yeah. had new and out, new things to talk about in terms of oh look at someone bid on this and it just went through about an hour ago. Now it's you know that's happening in two days or anything we talk about here would have happened days ago. Um, Carlos Carlos not only has a full roster now, but like two of those games have already come out since World he's added Horror, them. World of Horror and Ghost Runner Two, right? Yeah. They have a, let's see, an 80 and an 83. Not yep. bad. Not bad. Not bad. Still Not waiting on a bad. score for Counter-Strike 2, though. Someone's, uh, someone's going to you know, lose you. Uh, you know, I, I, I know I still have zero hope of, of, of winning this thing, and I'm kind of comfortable with that at this point, but I am still kind of like, I'm invested in the sense that, like, I still want to see if they're going to make an announcement about Silent Hill and Bluebird today made an announcement like stay tuned biggest big stuff is coming soon which makes oh, me yeah. think Oh yeah. It's look Nick. They're, I, I, they're going to say something pretty soon. They will. Oh, you you're looking for the delay announcement. I, or anything. I mean just anything whether it's a well, delay or whether it's coming out in December, I you know whatever no. it is. I don't I mean that's probably not going to happen, but Yeah, of course not. I just want to hear them say something about it. Also, oh. also, I checked in Deca Police yesterday. By the way, I know you're very skeptical. I'm also kind of skeptical about that game coming out this year, but it is still plastered all over their official website. Twenty coming later in 2023. They've got to uh, say something about that, or it's actually coming out in like November or December or something. I feel like that game is going to be like suddenly they're going to they're going to next time they talk about it, it's going to be like oh by the way, it's coming out next week or something like that. Um, Mar- there's so many games got scores since we when when did we even last talk about this shit? My I mean, God. it would have been it would have been two weeks ago. Sonic got a score. City Skylines got a score. Oh, Sony you had to all bring over up the my, fucking place. My Sonic gamble. I thought I, I you know Bad I said gamble, we were going to talk you know, about we, we this. Knew, we knew. We um, knew. Fucking hey, I mean, Mario Sonic came out. That better got than a one score. of my games. Uh, Mario oh, got a see- score. Spider Man got a score. Like fucking everything's hitting, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's almost like we're getting to the end of hey, the year. Hey, I will say this. Um, I for the first time for me all year, I have three things coming up at like 
boom, 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 like one after another. That's finally going to fill in my list a little bit, which is good. Uh, because I got Jusant, uh Alan Wake 2, and uh, Talos Principle 2 all coming out within the next week, I think. I, uh, uh, I want to know what Chris's game got scored. Uh, oh, the City Skylines 2? Oh, poor I think me. it's sitting at a 70... No, no, hang on, hang on. I want him to say it. Yeah, yeah. I'll s- Wait, which one? Because I got double fucked this past week. No, no, no. You know the one. I know the one. How yeah, the Lamplighters League. Hey. No, not that one. The other one. <laughs> what, what was the score on that one again? <laughs> 96. 96, sir. Minus that's 20 false. points. That's, so... That's in- 96 minus 20. No, you, I don't... Well, I, you know, this is one of those scenarios where someone's try, like talking through their thought process about how they're doing math, and I'm just like, that is not how I do math. That is not how I would... Do, like, I don't know what, I don't know what calculations you don't, you're making there. You, take, you don't take 96 minus 20 to get 76? Is that what... That, no. Uh, you're... Because that's, what, what, that's what I got Crispy. for Crispy. City Skylines. Ugh. <sighs> 76! 76! After he scooped it from me and then tried to taunt me with it for months. <laughs> you got 76. He was thinking it was going to score like exceptionally well. But. And, and to be fair, the first one scored hate to see it. pretty well. I just want y'all to know that no no one wants to review Storyteller again, even though there was a big update, you know, came out for phones. You On Steam, like, those user reviews are just skyrocketing, man. Everyone loves the fucking game listen, now. Listen here, you know, shitbird. Can these cr- critics review Storyteller, please, to water Bro, down you... that four that GameSpot gave it? My God. <laughs> Brad, but shut the fuck up. You have with two that guy's more wife. games that are coming out this year with confirmed release dates, and you're in the lead already. Like, shut the fuck up. What do you? No, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I'm not oh. complaining. I, I know I'm. I know I'm in a good place. He's just <laughs> really upset about Storyteller. <laughs> it, it, no, I just mean you know it's a good game. It's out. Y'all can play it. You love Netflix, right? It ain't. It People ain't should no, play uh, Storyteller. It's good. Cool. It ain't no Redfall. I'm I've been playing it. Saying that, um, anyways. I'm tempted, to actually, uh, I'm tempted to buy Redfall, actually. What? What? Okay, first of because all... Because it got the Game, game Pass! pass. Okay. Just Game Pass, man! No, game no. Pass! You know what? I think he should buy it. You should buy a new copy, and you know what? You should you should pay full price. Give the developer what they deserve. It's Arcane. You love Arcane. Pay full price for that game, Chris Davis. Moving on. What else we got? We're here to talk about Spider-Man. Let's get to it. Oh. <laughs> Which is also Fantasy Critic related. It came out... It got a 91 on Carlos's list. Boom. Dang. 22 points for Carlos. He did it. Let's only, talk um, about it. it and game. we're all playing it, I believe, right? Is everybody here playing it? I have not started it yet. I not have started it. it yet. Okay. Um, Spider-Man 2. Insomniac's follow-up to 2018's Game of the Year. Or I don't know about Game of the Year, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, Definitely did... not 2018's Game of the Year. By well, any I, I, I was... I was Mostly kidding. It was a really great game in 2018, though. But you know, there were a lot of great games in 2018. God of War swept that year, and and decent people chose um... decent people. This motherfucker. I don't know what <laughs> Wasn't see. 20 uh, 2017 was Zelda? What was 2018? I don't know. Oh, Red Dead Redemption came out that year. Yeah, Red Red Dead Redemption yeah. too. Yeah, that was game of the year. That swept the awards. That and get God of War. Um, but anyways, let's talk about Spider-Man 2. I guess, real quick, let's just go around the table here. Oh, we're... sorry. Monster Hunter World, of course. Continue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah real quick, let's year. just go around the table here real quick. I want to get a feel for where, kind of where everybody is so we can kind of, you know, be careful of how we talk about it, because it is kind of a game that's easy to spoil, I would say, so. Sandman! Uh, Nolan, where, wh- how much Spider-Man 2 have you played since it came out? What's going well, on? I just I just got to the part where spoilers happen to spoilers, and then uh, how do I say where I am without spoiling the game? Like I don't really I mean, understand. How many main How many main missions have you done? How many hours have you played? I don't know. For a billion dollars, I couldn't tell you how many missions I've done. <laughs> I have no okay. idea. I just that do them me, when they show up in let front me of me. Ask you so this. like, hold on. So here, without spoiling anything, the last main mission I did was a very short story based mission after <laughs> you go to Coney Island. Okay, yeah, so, which is exactly what I was talking about in Discord the other day. I, I was like, there is an actual mission in this game. And I think people, because I said there was an actual mission in this game that was entirely cutscene. 
And somebody was mm-hmm. like, well, yeah, that had, you know, welcome to video games in the modern age. I was like, no, 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 this is not a w- casually walk around and talk to people and then it, and then it c- counts that as a main mission. This is a put the controller down, watch a cutscene play, and that counts as a main mission. Honestly, I feel like more game. should be like that. I'd, sometimes I'd rather just watch a scene than walk around and... I, I agree because there are definitely times. So I will say the main mission before this, when you were on Coney Island, you were doing a whole lot. But there are right. definitely missions in this game. Like the first time you go to, and I'll just say the foundation, um, you literally do nothing. Um, it could have been a big long cutscene. Like the only thing you're doing is walking around the building and choosing what to interact with. And I guess in theory, if you're a speed runner, you don't have to interact with any I of mean, that, and so you can bypass it. But no, I'm just I'm just advocating for. I agree with Brad that I think cutscenes have gotten such a bad rap over the past few years that people are kind of like developers are hesitant to use them now. And so like, oh, we can't we can't just have a cutscene. So the player's got to do something. And it's like you don't though. You can just watch a cutscene. I mean, I don't, I, I don't, de- I don't, oh my God, I don't disagree with you in, entirely. But at the same time, I feel like if they did go that route, those same people who are complaining about the walking portions would be having, would be complaining about the exact opposite, about how there's Maybe. not enough gameplay in the game. You know what I mean? It's just, but like, so that's here, here's the thing, here's the thing, hold, hold on. I, I do want to talk about that real quick, Nick, because I uh, have been on the internet a little bit lately and you know i have to stop myself from doing it because holy shit people bitch about everything and oh, anything yeah. they can um uh, i i'm just like oh you can't go into the subway what the fuck's wrong with this game oh uh mary jane they changed her her character model to make it look more like the voice actress she's ugly now like what the fuck is wrong with people welcome to the internet it's it's just the worst uh, <laughs> but it's like they, they they can't be satisfied with anything well, nobody can be satisfied with well, the changing of here. the Peters was pretty <laughs> ag- egregious. Hey, but. you know what I will say? You know what I will say? Because I, I did not play the remastered version of the original game when they mm-hmm. the first time, which is the first time they actually made the transition to the new Peter. And I didn't mm-hmm. hate the original Peter, but I think I do prefer the new character model. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm in the minority here, but I think I do prefer the new character model Peter to the old one. Um, I don't but, give a fuck. They, it's I, I you tell me hey this is Peter I'm like cool when I saw all the controversy about Mary Jane looking ugly I didn't even know they changed her character Neither. I had no idea what happened was a scene started and it was Mary Jane it was a redhead who said hey Pete and he said hey MJ and I was like oh cool Mary Jane the only who the fuck thing, cares the only thing weird about new Peter is the new Peter looks a lot younger which is weird because for two reasons one. He's supposed to be like a seasoned Spider-Man. I really don't you know. Think like, like, like I, I feel like he's written older. And two, he's oh, like this mentor figure for a younger Spider-Man who looks maybe older than him. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't even go that far. That's weird. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, also, quick, we finish the flashback the table? version. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I just, I, I just want to finish where we, because we're, we've already kind of gone off yeah. on a tangent here. But Crispy, Ooh. where are you at in this game? The save file says I am forty percent complete. Oh wow! Okay, I did huh. the I did Coney Island. I did that Foundry mission, and the last mission I did was. Have you done? Here, here here's an easy miles. way to gauge it. Here's an easy way to gauge it. I think people who are listening, who are playing, can maybe figure it out. Have you or have you not already done the mission that was the 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 big demo that they showed the lizard mission where you're chasing oh. it through the water? Because I I'm. Dude, pretty I, sure that's i did that I last night this I'm, game existed i have not watched anything about this oh how much of a jerk is peter oh Parker? oh i know what i'm doing yeah, yeah i i must be coming up on that because the next mission is like trying to find doc connors yeah you're coming up i mean it, the the big the big set piece thing with the, the first time they really showed like gameplay of this was the was the big lizard chase and it is kind of like the centerpiece of the game like it's the i would say it's like kind of splits the game in two um so i guess and i i think no one's not done that count is like 14 of 31 yeah there's 31 story missions yeah 31 story missions but one of those is a cutscene. at least one (laughs) whose gameplay is this that's my this would be nolan this would be nolan Uh, i was just i was messing around with the fact that you can turn on fall damage and it's pretty funny to have spider-man just like slam into the ground and everyone around him is like oh my god have you and uh, it's just a dead spider-man have you you been doing the whole thing as classic Amazing Spider-Man? Like, no, he he's with suit, suits, the suit, mid footage. The suit. 
Oh, no. Uh, suits? No, I've been switching them around. Um, so actually, uh, even at the beginning of this footage, I think I was in a different suit. And so I actually recorded oh. two sets of footage. Um, and so in uh, in one of them, uh, I, I was wearing like the, the kind of dark blue. Dude, there's there are so many suits in this game. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I, I'm constantly changing them, even mid cutscene, which is awesome to just literally. Mid cutscene. Uh, yeah, mid cutscene. You go into the menu, change your suit, and then you come out of it, and he's just in a different suit in the same cutscene. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm. It's pretty crazy. It, it Do you also, think there are like psychopaths that would never change his suit. They would turn on the probably. game and they would play it with just the suit he's wearing. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm a psychopath, but I will <laughs> if 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 the suit is relevant to the story. I won't change it. Like like right now, I'm rolling when I'm playing as as Peter Parker. I am rolling with the black symbiote suit. Yeah. Until that is no longer oh. like the Dude, story. Well, that that scenario. that makes sense. Someone got my hand attached up. to his body. Someone got my hopes up about a suit because we had different mental images of something. I like someone said something about Agent Venom, and I was like, "Oh, oh, Agent Venom looked kind of sick in the comics." But what they meant doesn't look sick. It looks really dumb. Uh, yeah. I want to know I, what everyone's favorite suit is, though. Um, I've only been so... changing out suits when there's like it's the end of a, of a quest line. Like that's your reward. That's when I've been switching out. So I've only I've only gotten like the the new one one of them from Miles. Uh, I, I think it's also important Peter. to I think it's important to point out, and I think this is one of the things that kind of you know the first game had quite a few suits, but it had one less Spider Man, obviously. Mm-hmm. So it had you know only a fraction of the suits, but each not every single suit in this game, but a lot of them have the uh, you have the ability to unlock variations for each one. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You can't like fully customize them, but you can, but it gives you like four color combinations for for a lot of the suits which is really cool um so if you know to answer your question crispy i'm moving around i'm jumping around suits a lot the one i've been using a lot lately i've been playing as miles a lot just kind of you know um like a lot of times when i'm just swinging around the city i'm playing as miles uh and i've been using the wakandan suit i think is what they called it uh yeah the black panther one yeah, the Black Panther one, which is awesome. Spoilers, they have like the no, I think it's called game. Forever. I think that suit's called. Forever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's got like a black and purple variation, which is fucking sick. So I've been really rolling cool. with that quite a bit. Um, yeah, what else? What else? What else? What else? I mean, speaking there are... of flashbacks, Crispy, I think you kind of alluded to that earlier. And yeah. are you were you referencing to what we're about to see? Uh, oh, uh, the young, young Peter. Peter ref- uh, what I was gonna say is that when they flash back to young Peter, because it happens a couple times, I think. Yeah, it does. Like, it does. Um, it's about to happen in the footage. He, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember this one. Uh, but the the design they have for young Peter makes him look too much like Tom Holland. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like it. But I can see it. Um, yeah, that was it. But so well, hold on. I will quick quickly. I will bring up uh, if you are watching us live at four player. Uh, twitch.tv slash four player um unfortunately when i had started recording this footage i was like ah cool i've now been i'm done with that cutscene that's all spoilery uh and so i can just record footage and then like everything's fine for like a minute and then mj calls and she's like hey peter spoiler 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 and i was like fuck um and so uh, i asked chris I, I what I ended up doing was I just paused the game and turned off subtitles and then I just never turned them back on. So this is a very heavy conversation story mission um, yeah. that's very relevant to what's going on. And like yeah. if you're watching us live, you're just getting none of it. And it looks like Peter just like riding his bicycle down the street <laughs> because you're not hearing what's going on. But anyway, sorry, right, right. continue. I, uh, uh, it is a hard game to capture footage of without spoiling. <laughs> yeah. So regarding the, the costumes itself, and this may be me misremembering. But in the first game, and then to an extent in Miles Morales, mm-hmm. uh, the costumes had can sometimes have individual like power sets and special abilities. Yeah, like uh, yeah. did they remove once... that for this? No. Yes. Well, no. yes, they changed it. So the yeah. way it worked before was each suit had an associated power that came with it. But once you unlock yep. the suit, you could equip them independently. Right. Oh, so you could I equip any that. power that was for a suit that you had unlocked, right? What they've done now is instead of associating with suits, they just give you like an unlock tree of suit upgrades that apply to whatever cosmetic yep. you're using. Okay. And I, and I do like that that change with with the progression in the game how it's it's skill trees now and I'm not having to wait for 
certain levels to get like health upgrades or damage upgrades, things like that. It's not coming at certain levels. It's now I kind of pick and choose with my skill points. So yeah. I, I will say this. Um, this is one of those games and, and Spider-Man 2, as far as I can tell so far, and based on what I've heard from other people who have finished the game and from reviews and whatnot, it seems like it's a, I would say it's like a leaner game, right? So like I've heard, I'm seeing a lot of people saying they platinum, platinum to this whole game in like 20 to 25 hours. Right. So like, uh, they've, they've, it sounds like they've trimmed a lot of the fat. And as a result, um, you just kind of naturally do, you, you progress very quickly. Um, and it, it, you progress almost so fast that I'm like, I, like sometimes like I haven't even caught my breath from the last time I leveled up and I'm leveling up again because I'm just swinging around the city. I'm getting into random fights. I'm finding collectibles all over the place. And everything you do is giving you points. I'm finding stuff that give you tech points and, and then all those points are used in different ways in the menu. So like you can upgrade your your actual like your gadgets, which have their own little independent skill trees. You can upgrade your actual like stats, like health and damage and stuff. And then on top of that, and then you have skill points, which are completely separate, which go into the actual skill trees. But you have three skill trees. You have Peter, you have Miles, and then you have the two of them together. And it's just like there are I'm mean, having just points coming from every which way, and I'm just it's like kind of overwhelming, um, but not I don't think in I don't know if I feel like it's a, it's a good way because it's just like I don't know what I did to earn half these points because it's just it's ha- it's coming at you so fast. Um, I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but it's kind of driving me crazy because like I spend I feel like I spend so much time in menus. He, he, here's what now. I do, Nick. Here's what I do, and you, maybe if you watch the footage, you'll notice the next time I level up, it'll say level up. You've gone from level nineteen to twenty one or twenty. You have four unspent skill points. I just don't yeah. use them as soon as I get them. I just kind of like hang out, do whatever, like, you know, just, hey, eventually, right. maybe I go into the next like story mission and I'm like, man, I can probably use a little more health here. I, then I'll go into the menu and, and, and you know, upgrade or whatever. I, I I maxed out the the like shared tree that they have. Um, yeah. But I've, I stopped spending points after that because like half of Peter's skill tree is locked out. I assume that's all symbiote stuff and i just haven't gotten there in the story and i i would rather spend points on those and like save them than spend them on like the fucking stupid spider arms yeah what i will what i will tell you and maybe this uh well i am having a fantastic time with like the moment to moment gameplay and stuff um Mm -hmm. i at least early on i was dying a lot and then I said, like, I guess I have to start putting points into, like, health, like, badly. Because, like, if you don't put points into health, like, every hit takes out, like, a fourth of your of your, your meter so and shit. I, so, I, I, f- I feel like in regards to that, I've died a few times. I wouldn't say a lot. Maybe, like, four, five. Um, I feel I, it like made me wonder if def- I accidentally set it on hard or something. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so, I, I feel like they definitely push you off the deep end faster in this game. I think mm-hmm. they feel like anybody playing this has probably played the first one or at least Miles Morales because as soon as the hunters become a thing, they are way more aggressive and unlike in the last game where they introduced enemies that you can't really uh, like hit, you have to either uh, parry break them their, or yeah. break yeah break their stance. They yeah. introduce them super quick. They don't really give you a whole lot of tutorials and they're like, hey, here's this enemy. Uh, you can't just punch him go and, and all of a sudden they're just everywhere and i would also say that unlike something like an arkham asylum uh yeah. where an enemy will kind of stand off to the side and dance back and forth waiting for his opening they don't do they that don't do that this. in this they fucking come at you in they this uh, if you if you are not constantly paying attention to your your you know your peter tingle and and <laughs> making sure you're aware when someone's about to attack like you will get hit and wh- like i said some of those hunters hit really fucking hard so you yeah. you've got to pay attention and the, um, I mean, the, the parry specifically, it's such a, a new mechanic for what they're trying to do. They give you very little time to train you on that. And mm-hmm. if you, if you're an experienced Arkham st- combat style player, like you're used to the, the, the warnings, his spider sense popping right. up with the, the white variant and the red variant, the red variant, meaning that you're immediately about to get hit. Like the timing is different. Mm-hmm, so like yeah. if you're trying to do a parry, you've got to do it right at the red. You can't do it at the white because there's no wind up and doesn't account for and, the animation. And it breaks and the I, flow I, of combat I, a lot. I, I would also it. argue that it's important to not be a 
video game player uh, in hoard shit. Um, do not hoard your abilities. Do not hoard your uh, your tech. Use that shit early and often because you know what? If you go into a battle with like three abilities already charged up and you're not using them early on, you're not gaining more. You don't get to stack them. Um, so I, I, I would say early on, use those abilities to weaken a bunch of enemies. And then as you're either finishing them off or attacking new ones, you're gaining them back. And it's one of those things where it's hard as like, you're like, oh, what if I really need it? And then you die uh, because you didn't use it. Um, I don't remember if this was the case in the last two games because it's been a while, but like the heal mechanic, right? You hit <laughs> push down on the D pad to heal is tied mm -hmm. to the same focus bars that let you do same with the previous takedowns. Games. That's always uh, okay. Open, yeah. So I don't know why I'm struggling with that a lot in this game because it, it uh, so like I said, I've been taking a lot of damage and I don't feel like I'm playing poorly. Like I feel like I've I feel pretty confident in in the combat and whatnot. But every once in a while, I find myself deciding between being tempted to use a takedown because the icon like the uh, the indicators there. Right. Or but like if I don't, I have to be really on top of my dodging until the end of this fight because well, I, I, you know. I I think it comes down to two things. Number one, I feel like focus purposely uh, that, that that builds the meter focus. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like that is intentionally slowed down in the early game. Because there are a bunch of upgrades that you can buy through the skill tree to get that to climb much faster. Um, right. And number two, it feels like the heal doesn't heal you nearly as much as in the previous games. No, it doesn't. But you can upgrade that stuff too. Yes. But everything's okay. upgradable. Real quick, let's let's kind of we're getting into the weeds here. But what I really want to talk about more than anything is the Queens. fucking wings. The wing suit. They're pretty wings awesome. Is pretty fucking absolute. Good fucking game changer like it yep. the wingsuit in my opinion is so good i feel like it's gonna be hard to go back to the last game without it because oh for sure I, holy shit i really like it i almost hate it that i like it so much like <laughs> like it's it, really good and, and i mean that as like a serious critique like my swinging time is down to about 50 percent of the time i'm traveling i'm like web slinging i'm, I'm like right. not spider-man hardly anymore i feel like to Batman. me you know? To me, web slinging is 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 like eighty percent of the time. Web slinging is just a means of building momentum and height and speed to f then open the wingsuit and glide. Wow! Yeah. Um, yeah. It is. So I, 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 I would I would say that the 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 gliding is for more traversal, whereas the web slinging is more for precision. When I'm in an area yeah. and I want to be doing something, I'm web slinging. If I'm saying if I'm at point A and I want to get to point B, I'm probably doing using the web the wingsuit and gliding there sure. dude yeah. it is amazing how fast you can go from one end of the map to the other in the wingsuit it is insane you, like you know it's like even a lot, faster a lot of, fast hmm. travel i don't shit it loads i don't do that shit but i know it's good it loads so fucking quick. Wait, have, have you I, at least done it once nick it's really painless. yes it's good i think i, I it's think it's hilarious that insomniac had to come out and say there were no tricks or gimmicks to it because yeah. people didn't believe that it actually was loading in that fast. It is yeah. it is quite insane. But like, you know how, you know, you like it's like I'm going to do this mission, right? So you put like a thing down and then it says mm -hmm. like you look at your like you look at your HUD, right? And you're in the game and you can see it's like 3200 meters away or whatever. I used to be like, "Oh my god, that's so fucking far." You can cover that distance with the wingsuit in this game in like less than a minute. It is it's, especially if you find bananas. one of the the, the super like slingshots. The wind, well, the, the, the wind slingshot, the wind tunnels, the wind tunnels is what I was talking about. Yeah. Once yes. you're in a wind tunnel, holy fuck, you are zooming. And I feel like a lot of people might watch foot like if you haven't played the game, if you watch footage of it or see gameplay trailers or whatever, and you see people in the in in the wind tunnels, I think you might be tempted to think that like okay, once you enter a wind tunnel, you can just kind of you're just kind of like automated, but like you can pull out of a wind tunnel, like pull up and get massive like air at any time. So like it it once you're in it, you're kind of like following the tunnel, but you can like steer out of it. And the number of like amazing maneuvers I've managed to pull off just by using those wind tunnels to build momentum is just, it's so good. It's so satisfying. Um, this oh, is I mean, just, one, it's one of those wingsuits that like, you think about any game that has a wingsuit. I'm like, this is, this is what I feel like they're going for, but they, they kind of nailed it here. But yeah, like, to, to Crispy's point, I'm not swinging much <laughs> because of it. I mean, I mean it's, it's really it's, cool. I will say one suit, the Secret Wars Civil War suit for Peter. 
where it's like yeah. he's wearing like kind of like like military pants and like a Under Armour version of the suit, and then like his mask and goggles. He wears like a Falcon style backpack with like robot wings. So when you go what? in, when you go into the wingsuit, instead of it being like the web wings, it's like these robot wings come out of his backpack. It is like Buzz so Lightyear. Nice. So yes, that's, it is so cool. <laughs> like, that's, that's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. <laughs> Uh, another thing i want to bring up is there are a whole lot of like kind of mini games and like kind of different ways to that you're doing gameplay besides just being peter or miles and punching enemies or slinging mm-hmm. web there's lots of stuff with the drones with the bees with like all the different kind of like mini games of solving puzzles and i, I do think they're all fairly creative and i, I don't I, so far at least where i'm at i've not gotten bored with any of them like oh i gotta do this right. one again None um, of them really feel I, like a I, chore, but and they all like tie into like interesting ca- like side characters and stuff, mm-hmm. which I think is nice. I, I like the the like little uh, web lines you can create at any point in time now to give yourself an advantage over the enemies. Just slinging a web from point A to point B, a tightrope, and getting to walk across it for takedowns and stuff like that. Um, and then besides everything we've talked about so far. You know, once again, you know, I, I mentioned where I was. I don't know how far I am percentage wise in the story. Um, I'm really liking the story. Like, it's really yeah. good. I really like the characters. I really, the, I think the acting's pretty good. Um, Did you, I really like you felt that way about the first game, right? Or, oh, yeah. I can't, no, for sure. Yeah. The first game was good, too. But it's like, one. Of, I think this one's the equal in that I'm actually enjoying what's going on. Like it's like sometimes it's not like it's not like I'm in a cutscene and I'm like, oh, I'll just watch this, I guess. I'm like, oh, I'm actually like kind of invested in what's going on. Yeah, like right. the the story beats and and how they're presented. Like you can, in certain instances, because you know like what Venom is and things like that, you already have this preconceived knowledge of what to expect. But like the twist that you kind of expect to be there, like they kind of go in another direction, and it and it feels, yeah. I wouldn't say it's fresh. fresh, but it feels good. Yeah, I mean, here's enough. the thing about and and maybe Crispy can. I feel like if I'm going to say what? this, and I'm. I apologize if this is just straight up false, crispy, but I feel like at least as someone who's mainly been exposed to like kind of like the mainstream Spider-Man stuff, right? Like so, you know, and not like some of the deeper comic book knowledge as, for for Venom as a character, right? There's always like there's it's always kind of a variation of like the same story with like little tweaks, right? At least the ones that are presented in like movies and TV and games and whatnot, like. It's just kind of like what like, the thing that changes is like what is the symbiote and who's in the suit, but like everything else is kind of like we know Peter's eventually going to get the suit and we know what it's going to do to his personality. We know what his weakness is. We know how it's going to get off, right? You kind of know those beats are coming, um, the... and they had they're happening here as well. But I feel, and this is maybe just my expectation because of well, what happened in the first game, the whole this thing where like they keep smart. talking. They keep talking about the symbiote like it's a suit, like it's something that Doc Connors invented, and not that it's like an alien. Well, here's the thing: if when you're walking around, you know, when you're walking around the uh, the foundation early on in the game, this is also, not. So what is this? A blue beetle suit? That's kind of. <laughs> Also, what yeah. is this? A Superman game? No one just swing your fucking, fucking web. They're gonna get fucking sued. <laughs> yeah, uh, but like there are hints of. Like, like right now, I'm, I'm, I think I'm like 19 missions in or whatever. I was like, I, I don't know specifically where they're going with the Venom suit. And honestly, given my expectations after the first game, I fully expect this game to take a left turn and be kind of, kind of unexpected at the end, kind of like what they did with with Doc Ock in the first game, where he wasn't. I mean, you knew Doc Ock's history, right? But like, you look at the marketing of that first game, right? It's all Mister Negative, you know, and like a lot of the stuff that happens in 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 the end of the at the end of that game like who you're fighting and like what's yeah. going down was kind of like oh th- i didn't think well, they were gonna do that no, in this game. I, uh, well okay I, uh, uh, the thing about that is like that was actually just like a really good use of dramatic irony right because the secret was that dr otto octavius was in the game right yeah you meet him very early on and he's peter's mentor and right. you know, as soon as you see him in the game, it's like, oh, right. okay. Like, that's where this is going to go. So that whole story. But there's is also not, a part like, of that. It's not a twist. It's like, this well, is, they did the this Sinister is inevitable. Six. Sure. I, I, I just meant like, I meant like Doc Ock being the villain right. at the end isn't really like 
a yeah. twist. It's it's, the, it's like the exact opposite of a twist. It's like the the quote unquote twist in the first game is um, okay. Okay, the relationship well, I feel like we should... between uh, Peter and Otto. I think sure. That's yeah, I mean, not a twist. It's, it's a, a night... subversion, but yeah, maybe that's a better way of putting it. But like, my point is, they did some pretty surprising stuff at at, at the end of of that first game, and even in Miles Morales, they did some pretty interesting stuff at the end at the end of that game um so i i fully expect that to be kind of what's going to happen here in some way shape or form and they're kind of setting laying the groundwork for that early on in the game they're introducing characters that i'm like we know have history we know could go any number of ways they're doing it they're doing something not fresh but something different i think with the the symbiote right yeah, yeah. and they're setting the groundwork they're doing some cool stuff with craven that i'm not really keen on yet even though i, I kind of think i know what's going on like it's just it's keeping me it's keeping you me on what? my toes no. more than i thought it you would know, let, let's be brave enough to say craven sucks like he's just a dumb character and nobody cares he's not anybody's favorite <laughs> spider-man villain craven's dumb his whole thing is he hunts like uh, okay whatever dude i'm gonna well, be honest i have a complete the opposite hunter? reaction come on well, S- I Sony have... marketing and research thinks otherwise because they are making a Craven movie. I... Well, that's Dude, you know that they made a fucking nice. Morbius movie, and then <laughs> that became a big meme, and they're trying to get the meme dollars again. <laughs> like, um, why did he name himself Craven? I don't know. It's, right? That, I didn't know. I didn't thing? know that that I didn't know that that was like an old timey word for coward and weak will. And then when that's I, the only I, meaning I I know. I well, only knew in, that word as the supervillain Craven the Hunter, and then when I learned that it was like a thing that people called each other, I was okay, like, well, well, in, "Why did you do that?" In then? the game, in the game at least, there's a mission involving Craven where it alludes to someone named Cravenoff, and yeah. this is like a shortened <laughs> version. I thought that was cop something in the comic. Yeah, Maybe but you gotta about, remember, you gotta remember all comic book characters are their names are reverse yeah. engineered. He wasn't yes. a guy named Cravenoff who they were like, oh, it'd be really yeah. clever to call him Craven the Hunter. He but was the Craven Lord the Hunter, Sarah. and they're like, what's his identity? <laughs> like, I thought I thought he was Craven because he was Craven D's nuts. Dang. Was he like a Thanks big God. jobber Thanks in the for comic si- books? He was like, one of the he... original Sinister Six, but yeah, like, yeah, he was... R- real quick. He was just some I, dude from the 60s that Spider-Man fought. I... I do want to just say, like, I've never been a huge Craven the Hunter fan, like you said. Yeah, no, but like, no shit, I who really, is? <laughs> well, here's my, po- here's what I'm trying to get at is like, I'm liking him in this game. Like, I'm, I'm really digging what they're doing with, with the character. And uh, there's a mission I don't think you've done yet, which is coming up, which is, which is really oh. fucking cool. I'm sorry, go ahead. What? Um, my point is, I'm really in- like I've kind of since the beginning, since Insomniac's first game. Like, I think they've all pretty much all the way around made really great use of the villain characters so far. And there might be an exception to that rule. I could be wrong because um, <laughs> they've actually covered a lot of ground in three games. But mm-hmm. um, I'm pretty impressed with what they're doing with it so far, and it, it feels like at this point they're building to something. I mean, they're obviously building to something, and. For me, kind of the intrigue is like I can I can tell they're building to something, but and I think I thought I would know what it is, but I don't really know what it is, and I feel like there's something that's coming out of left field, and that's exciting. Um, and I've, that's kind of the way I felt about all these games at, at this point. Um, I know none of you are far enough to know, but I hope it's just that like, you know, because it's obvious after the end of the last game, right? That oh, you know, Harry Osborn, uh, he's obviously going to be the one who becomes Venom, right? I, I mean that's what well, that, that's what they're teasing here. I'm hoping it's just that like Peter Parker just becomes Venom. Okay, I, well, okay, let's okay. Th- we're getting into spoiler territory and uh But I don't know. And I don't think y'all know, so I, I mean, mean I have an idea I'm just but like I'm guessing. far enough along in to know what's going on with Harry and it's mm. yeah, I mean it's like okay. I mean Get, get ready to be disappointed. We're, but anyway, we're getting into dangerous territory. I, uh, here. What what else can we say about this game? Like, you know, we're you, none of oh, us are finished. That's yet, another but. like just kind of creative decision gripe I have with this game, with the franchise. I will say, with the Insomniac Spider-Man franchise, I feel like this whole Norman and Harry misdirection into Venom thing is as much like a fun subversion of the classic you know character relationships and it's 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 also just like a cowardly attempt to get away from trying to make the green goblin like 
Well, I, so here, okay. I think I think they're all just like uh, the Green Goblin's kind of silly. We can't make this no, a dude. cool villain. <laughs> okay, here's what here's okay. This is one of those things where I'm scared to even. I, I don't even want to have the conversation. Oh my god, me. are you saying the Green Goblin's in this game, Nick? Are you saying no, the Green I, Goblin's in this game? No, I'm oh, saying. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh, I think I just figured something out because there's a part where like you're going through the hunter base and they're like, you, like they have some of like Scorpion's armor and then they're like, oh, you're like, oh fuck, oh, wouldn't it be cool if like, ah, oh, ooh. Never mind. I'm sorry. And these like goblin these nuts. Ah, the Green Goblin's <laughs> just so cool. The Green Goblin's he's amazing. Halloween. He's the best. I'm not giving anything away because I no, don't no, know no. if it's true. But no, he's giving Halloween Green Goblin. Fits, fits the season. I know, right? Mm. Why put the game out in Crispy. October? Crispy. I'm not saying that. I, uh, what I am saying but, is when I was talking about, like, I feel like they're building to something. I feel like there's going to be a character right. we're not expecting that's going to come out of left field. Gotcha. I feel like that could be gotcha, gotcha. Green right. Goblin or right. any number of other characters. But wink, wink. We're on the same page, Nick. Wink. It's exciting. Wink. It's exciting. Like, nudge, nudge. Wink, nudge. Also, um, real quick, I just want to point out uh, I'm not sure if y'all have done this mission or not yet, but there's one um, mission that involves a certain character that where they they use the tech they made for Ratchet and Clank, Rift yes. Apart, mm-hmm. to do the portals, and it's mm-hmm. fucking crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty good. That so, was that, that was, was very fucking good. awesome. Oh, you, wait, are you talking about the? Oh, oh, that's another fucking cock tease of a mission. Oh, it is a cock tease of a mission. God, yeah, like what? Like you fucking especially the cowards. Fucking cowards! Like, go fuck yourself! Oh, oh, just like I hate this game. I don't like this game anymore. Hold on, hold You've on. You've convinced hold on. me. Y'all have literally not talked about the most important character in this game, mm-hmm. and that is New York City. New York City. Oh fuck City. Off. Oh, here we Let go. Let me tell you something. God. I can I can smell the New York air. I can I can taste the bagels <laughs> as I'm swinging around. <laughs> Uh, Imagine if it, I, this was in Tokyo. The, the, though, right? the city, cool. this the city is painted by colors of sound. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not touching Kidding. that one with a ten foot pole. Um, hey, you know what? I, I'll, 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 I'll briefly touch it. Look, obviously they're not going to build a, the second game from the ground up. It's Why so not? much easier to reuse their assets from the first mm-hmm. time. Uh, if you wanted them to build it from the ground up in Tokyo, we would be playing Spider Man Two in 2027. Great. Um, look, they, they started for. Hey, you know what? You would, but you know what? Insomniac won't because they need money now. Hey, wh- who um, do you, and wh- so, what do you get by 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 playing look, devil's advocate for these corporations, Nolan? <laughs> like, I'm not playing devil's advocate for the corporations. I'm playing devil's advocate for the people who work there and need money. Look, it's fine. Whatever. Regardless, I will say the game is impressive. Um, New York City's fine. It's great. You swing around. You can see it. You can go places. The one thing I will say, Brad, is what I've done that's some, not something I normally do is I'm not playing the game in performance mode. Uh, mm. I'm actually playing it in the middle mode, which is targets 40 frames per second with a variable refresh rate. So it, tar- it, it will minimum 40, but it tries to do more than that. And I will say I'm impressed with how good the frame rate is. Um, oh, you. I, the, so the reason I started doing that was because I actually saw a, a video I watched before I started playing um, that showed that when you're in the performance mode, there's quite a bit that they degrade in like a lot of the background shots and stuff that kind of doesn't look as good. Um, and like the video was essentially saying like, Hey, look, I'm not going to say don't play it in performance mode, but try it out. And if it really feels not good, then switch back to it. I've in all of the time I've been playing it, I've been doing it in that variable refresh rate mode that targets a minimum 40, hmm. and it's been running very smooth. Um, so, so I would definitely the, recommend that. I'm going to try that. The only the only time I have noticed something that I would call a, what I would, what I think is probably a sacrifice in like resolution or texture or whatever because of the, the performance mode is when you're in the, um, minor spoiler alert, there's a side mission involving Sandman. You're mm-hmm. in these like... St- sand tornadoes or whatever that are going around and in performance mode if you if you focus for a second outside of the combat and you look at like the wall of sand that's circling circling you it looks bad so that, like, well, that's what i'm talking real about Nick, is, bad. Is, is is that's what they talked about in that video i was watching was essentially saying like look they do stuff 
to make it run smoother, but it is a decent sacrifice because it's a high it's a high quality game. Those assets are big. There's a lot going on. Uh, I I have been pleasantly surprised with how well the I'm gonna try enha- that like enhanced what I, I can't remember I'll the exact try. terminology they use. Um, I play but Final Fantasy 16 in quality mode. Mm-hmm. But I that's mean, what I, I like. The, first, I, but... I, I I like that we're at a point in technology where they don't have to say, "Hey, you either get quality or you get performance," and there's no middle ground. They give you that middle ground in this game. That's nice. I, th- I hope we start seeing more of that. And you know, higher than thirty is higher than thirty. It may not be sixty, but it's higher than thirty. So that's I, nice all the nice. footage you've been watching in, in, that we've shown tonight has been in, in that mode. And uh, tell me, you didn't realize it wasn't. Like, I yeah, like I'd assumed that all of y'all would have thought I've been playing in performance mode the whole time. Uh, I've yep. not been, and I've been like happy. Good to fucking know. Um, you know, I let's let's shelve the conversation for now. I, I want to have a little. Co- we, we're going to revisit this game, obviously, because we're still playing it. We'll talk about yeah. our final thoughts on it maybe next week or the week after or something. Um, w- one thing I do want to kind of just on a general level before we cut for break is talk about how y'all feel about insomniac right now just as as a Mm -hmm. studio because they're they have two projects in the works i mean assuming they're probably also going to do a spider-man 3 this is an incredibly successful game um and they're building a universe quote unquote um with this series of games so i i have no doubt they'll return to it but where what are what are our expectations for this Wolverine game. That's kind of what I want to get at. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because there's a lot of people. Pe- now people are starting to talk about that game. Now that Spider-Man 2 is out in the wild. And it's kind of like. And a lot of people are, are theorizing. That, that that game could be out as early as next year. It's going to be very polished. And very people pleasing. It's going to get like an 88. <laughs> and it's going to be a rated M game. Do, what. You, I have a question, Chris David. You, you sound very annoyed by that answer. No, I'm not annoyed by it. I'm just saying oh. factually. Okay. You sounded very like, it's going to be a rated M game, like as like, like a super lame or something. No, like it's, um, they've stated out loud it's going to be a yes. violent adult game. Yes. Um, it's probably going to have big Logan energy, right? Do yeah, we? I mean, here's like, I guess a great big Logan. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to respond to that. There might be uh, a bit of Peter in this game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I have two questions, just kind of theorizing here a little bit. Uh, balls. One, do you Curry think balls. that Wolverine game is going to be like an open world game, like Spider Man is, or do you think it's going to be a different mm. style? Well, they, yeah, like, is this going to be more? Is this going to be more Ratchet and Clank, or more Spider Man in, in terms of its like suck design? To be in an open world game as Wolverine. Yeah, they're gonna. Get, that's my question. If they did, uh, motorcycle. If they, it yeah, his would motorcycle. Just be days gone. But apparently <gasps> that game was pretty good. Oh, no. So maybe. <laughs> Why did gone, you say that? Good. No, it, I mean, I, I I'll think, take it. So this is supposed to be the team that did Rift Apart, right? Mm-hmm. Doing know. Wolverine, I would yeah. imagine so. Yeah. So logically, like we could probably. But I mean, like it's all the very incestuous, design of what they did with it? that, like. like, like we we talk about the team that made Rift Apart and the team that made Spider Man, but it's really just two teams. And there's probably people going back and forth between those teams all oh, the time. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean, yes. like it's. Um. So I'm not even sure if that's a a good way to like gauge or predict. People don't pop it, for non open world games when it comes to like superhero stuff, though, right? You know. Yeah. But like the that, last Wolverine game we got was kind of a linear th- action game. We don't. We can't. We can't settle for just another one of those. You know. Yeah, but the last Wolverine but I feel like game Brad, was like but a Brad, 360 game. That was three generations ago. Maybe but also, Wolverine will go to Tokyo. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. If a character could go... I mean, that game is not going to take place in New York City. That's for damn sure. Thank God. So you're, you're going to get your wish there. What if it does? Um, fuck. But he, 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 here's, okay, so, so here, here's my question then. So, okay. So say we have an open world Wolverine game. Like, what would he be doing? Like murdering. what? What would he be doing? Okay, drinking, sure. Like running around murdering. But yeah, stuff. Uh, but that. But that's what I'm saying. Like the the reason something like you know Spider Man works is because he can traverse the world so quickly. Wait, and that's, you know that's his domain. So someone in chat brought up what I was going. King Carry King brought Carey. up like Yakuza, Yakuza versus Wolverine. So that is quote open, but it is a very small 
open world. So I could foresee them doing something like that. I do not foresee them doing a giant city uh, because it would kind of end up being boring. A Wolverine game in the Yakuza style would be pretty cool. (laughs) Like, I would, yeah, it would. Fuck out of that. I, w- I would say a Wolverine game in a judgment style. Sure. Sure. Um, like also, that. in a completely different direction, this might sound a little crazy, but I'm, I'm picturing like a Wolverine game that's like, what if it's less like super action heavy, like big city thing and more like, like Logan living out in the country. Oh, you know, you'd like that, like, wouldn't you, Nick? Like I'm you, thinking, I'm thinking, you like, you so a cowboy fucking hat, hard, huh? wouldn't you it? Oh, out there hunting fucking, and like, fucking just like camping, yeah. like, like with the yes. boys. <laughs> like Red Dead Redemption, baby. Like a Red Dead Redemption <laughs> Wolverine game where he's like, he's trying to live off the grid. He's trying to like Would live life in peace. He doesn't want to slice and dice anymore. Yeah. And then they come for him. So, but, but out here's in the, the thing, woods. Is that that's well, what I want? <laughs> love it. To, to to me, the thing is, is that the Spider-Man games have set a precedent for what people expect of Insomniac to use the Marvel license for. And what has it been for the past two games? It, and this one, it's been a lot of ensemble pieces, uh, ensemble characters in addition to your protagonists. Right, but at the so, same time, like. They're gonna get called on their shit if they just make Wolverine a Spider-Man clone. Like I know, I no, think they know they're not I'm going saying. to just do that. What I'm saying is that there is the expectation from the audience that if you're doing it a Wolverine game, that means the X-Men and so many of the characters are Fair in game. some way obligated to appear. And what about I, Logan? yeah, there's like not much. Big I mean, X-Men I'm sure. Anymore. I'm sure there will be cameos from from yeah. X Men and other characters. Like, that's that's a no brainer. And but the, that's what, what and I'm the saying, villains are obviously going to be X Men villains. But what I'm saying is that you have to scale your game design to be to complement your usage of your characters. So like you can do an open world game with with Logan and go make a 50, 60 hour experience of it if you wanted. You could you could build that bloat and build it fun. But if you're going to build out a game that's supposed to be 50, 60 hours. It doesn't you have, can't just have Logan. Not, it doesn't and have to be. If you're going to have dude, Spider-Man Spider-Man is a 20-hour game. Like what are you talking about? I'm, and it's l- huge. Let me get my let me get to my point. Okay? So if you're building out a game for characters with fucking superpowers, you've got to be able to demonstrate them. And in in the X-Men franchise where literally one character has control of the entire world's weather and another person control the mind, can theoretically control minds of anyone in the world like the variety you have to scale out your world this design isn't an X-Men to that's game. that's it's, exactly that hold on nick that's exactly why every single adventure is in this game that's why captain america shows up so much and iron man shows up and that's why and that's why we have yeah you know quicksilver's in this if you didn't notice because they're all here they don't have to fucking be in the game at all no, we don't, don't have to see they, a they single have, they, but why are you saying they do? We don't have to see a single X-Men besides Wolverine. If they don't show a single X-Men in that entire game, it could still be game of the year. It could be, but it, it you don't have be. to. It won't be. Okay. Okay, real quick. Could be. I mean, I see, Chris Davis's, I, I see Chris Davis' I see Chris point, but if they were if they if they were really going to go that hard on like cameo characters, they would have called this an X-Men game, not a Wolverine game. The only character Dude. they're obligated to to put in this game is wolverine i i I would not be too sure about that because in the past marvel has demonstrated that they really think anybody who doesn't read comics are only going to the x-men for wolverine like to the point where like they they're like made a cartoon show called x or called wolverine and the x-men like like, sure. Like, sure, but like i think it's entirely possible that this could be more of an x-men game than they are like but yeah, I think really. at the at the center of it, the character you are going to be controlling is probably going to be Logan. Yeah, it's probably going Absolutely. to be Wolverine. Absolutely. So, so the what I'm saying is the other characters that you're alluding to the the other X Men, while they do have big, bombastic, huge, world changing powers, like they would, they're building the game around Logan and not necessarily Wolverine. building it around Same other because you're not controlling those characters. They those characters are going to be scripted. You know, more or less, right? They're going to be mm-hmm. characters that interact with you as a player character. Sure. And as they can build their world as big or as small as they need to to fit the, the player character and to adapt to those characters that are going to be coming in and out of the story. 
the point is we don't really know, we don't really know what this is going to be obviously i just wanted to have the conversation about kind of expectations because we haven't really talked about this game outside of like oh they're making a wolverine game since it was first announced and i think this game is probably closer than than we may have thought remind me again um, who's making it insomniac oh it is insomniac yes yeah, yeah. it's insomniac yeah, and that's the whole point i i'm, this is I'm insomniac. still not also i'm still not sold on the idea that it's gonna be like a good game like you well, know what? i mean crispy it might be shit but you know what we're not gonna know until it comes out yeah, yeah. I, I mean but sure. here's the thing i and i know i'm gonna get pushed back on this especially from brad push, i push me i think insomniac has elevated themselves over the years, like I think they're, uh, I think Insomniac is up there with the big dogs, oh. like at Sony. Like I think they're up there with the Naughty the, Dog, the Naughty Dog, the Naughty Dog. They're up there with the, with the Sucker Punches. They're up there with the Sony Santa Monica. You're telling like, me the that the people punch. who made Ratchet are up there, or Spyro are up there with the people who made Crash Bandicoot and Sly Cooper, and yeah. <laughs> so Jack just, and Daxter. I'm all just a saying, bunch like, of lame. <laughs> you know yeah. those mascot devs trying to be cool like I think our, it's our wolverine game is going to be like a history of violence it's going to be so deep and uh, so hey dude they they have proven themselves as great storytellers when it comes to spider-man these are like the, the spyro games. motherfuckers okay just make a fun game damn it so oh, so well, i think that's the as goal. far as making a fun game like going to the other half of the topic that we're talking about like the future what? of insomniac like the thing that kind of worries me is that they're now on decree of Sony, a Marvel and once in a generation ratchet developer. Like, well, they are they are all, they are also developing an unannounced multiplayer game. I don't know what that's going to be, but they have the suggestion studios. the Multiple suggestion and... is that that is not a Marvel game and it is not a ratchet game. So that is something completely original, I, I suppose. Uh, that is none of these things. So like. You're right. I do think they have kind of become, at least this generation, or you know, this generation's Marvel, or you know, like they're. It's kind of like how, um, oh my God, why am I blinking? Uh, Rocksteady became kind of like the unofficial like DC game developer. You know what I mean? Like they're they they, well, they, they were the ones making good ones. Well, right, and now the next game they're making, you know, we don't know if it's good or not, but they're making a Suicide Squad game, which is kind of supposed to be set in the, you know, Arkham universe, oh. and it's like, they've been kind of pigeonholed, and I think the same thing is kind of happening with Insomniac, but I don't also see Insomniac spending, like, six years making a Suicide Squad game and nothing else. Like, Insomniac has mm. already released a Ratchet and Clank game on the PS5, but two Spider-Man games on the PS5. Like they are, they you say move that, at a Nick, quicker pace. <laughs> you say that, Nick. But Sony is reorganizing the way PlayStation is go- going to work for the next generation on, and the well, uh, Jim Ryan is out. So. <laughs> the half their portfolio's idea is for continuous online games as a service titles. Sure, sure. I mean, you're right, and and we have yet to kind of see how that's going to impact the future of Insomniac. And you're not wrong. I think. I think. Uh, you're going to probably start seeing less variety coming from the studio over in the long run because, or at least maybe, maybe the right way of saying it is in the short run. Like I think we'll eventually get a new insomniac IP, but it's going to be quite a ways down the road. Or, or at um, least, you know, take insomniac's back catalog of IP and hand it out to other developers to, to build out. Oh man. Slade brings up resistance in chat. I forgot about resistance. What, what about a remaster of the Re- resistance games? Just give us a collection what are of that. We even talking about here. What, no what one, are we talking? Uh, what are, we're talking why, about Insomniac. Why, why, why do we need a remaster of resistance? Why don't we, why, I would prefer them work on something new. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling there. insomniac to do it. I'm saying yeah. give somebody else do the remaster. Why? I mean, just let them make Resistance Four. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just, like, why do we have to like? Pre- why do uh, we have to like Nolan. preempt a new game with a remaster up, of the series? To your point, that's kind of what I was getting at earlier when when you were like, "We'd have to wait till 2027," and I was like, mm-hmm. "Well, okay, let's wait." And you were like, "But they need to make money." Like, it didn't have to be a Spider-Man game. They could have made something new. They could have done a remaster I, of Resistance. They could have done literally anything. Like, I, I, hold, so hold on, Crispy. So, and, and once again, I'm not. I promise I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to just play devil's advocate. 
I guarantee you, if they had just, instead of doing Spider-Man 2, done a remaster of Resistance, they'd be getting a lot of shit for putting out shovelware. And, yeah. Oh, you're just you're just remaking a game. Why don't you make something new? Rightly and, no, so. and, and, that's what, and that's what I was talking about earlier with Spider-Man and my frustrations with people's views on the internet that I've been seeing lately, is no matter what comes out, no matter... People are gonna find something to bitch about for some reason. It could be, you yeah. know, like uh, yeah. like thousands of people's game of the year. This is the best game I've ever played. There will be more people shouting from the rooftops. These are all the problems with it, and blah blah blah. And it, like it's just like you know, like oh, well, like, remaster resistance. Why don't they? Well, I, I have no, why haven't I seen a Sunset Overdrive remaster? Like like I I, I get oh, I like about they're, that. They're, <laughs> yeah, uh, so they're. they're like the original there's nothing wrong with these original games and that you, to your point crispy you have to wait till 2027 i agree i would also be fine with that i've said it before and i'll say it again uh, if they didn't release another game for five years i would have plenty of games sure. to play there yeah. there are plenty of things that already exist but i also understand that and it sucks from a business perspective they have to make money because they have shareholders guess... because they have people they have to answer to what i'm saying is like getting mad at people for having opinions about that though is kind of lame because it's like they don't deserve to exist like they don't have a right to exist so like i don't fucking care what their bottom line is if something's bullshit it's bullshit like whatever you're right for sure <laughs> like um we need to, we need to take a break but um oh my god i had a thought oh I, I just wanted to say i mean there's also i mean obviously sony has the final say and a lot because they're a sony studio now right they have but, the like, first say but but there's also something to be said like i mean it, there's nothing about this spider-man sequel to me that seems lazy or unenthusiastic right i feel like there's still a certain amount of enthusiasm and excitement about making a spider-man game to the studio like i don't think they're making it just because they've been told to make it i think there's I, I, there's probably a lot of excitement about the project i mean not, not to say that's going to necessarily carry over to a third game right away but like I think they have enough sway with Sony because they've they have they have released enough successes for Sony. Kind of like Naughty Dog. I think Naughty Dog has a lot of say in the kinds of projects they can do. Like I think right now they could make The Last of Us 3 or they can make a, a new IP and I think Sony would kind of let them make that decision as long as they promise to make the sequel at some point. You know what I mean? Um and this is this is just me kind of spitballing here. I obviously don't have any inside knowledge about this but i feel like there's a certain i mean that kind of thing gets taken into account as well i would imagine like those people they're they're not unenthusiastic or unexcited about making spider-man 2 so that has to count for something right yeah. right or am i crazy agreed no you're not okay you're not. all right let's take a break uh we'll come back on the other side we'll not talk about spider-man We'll have some horror games. Brad's gonna share some 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 thoughts on some horror games. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. You put it in the dock that way, Brad. You said the horror corner, where you're talking about <laughs> about a couple horror games. I don't um, like that title. Whatever. Halloween corner. Fuck me, right? Um, we'll talk about Killer Frequency, which I'm actually really excited to hear about, and uh, War Groove Two. And no. like a no, 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 through no, the no. Eight. Easy, easy buddy. To... Easy, buddy. We got games. We got games. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Hey, look. I love our new uniforms. I really do. I did not know necessarily if the expectation was that we would actually every wear them every single thing. week. I haven't taken mine <laughs> off in two months. That's disgusting. Um, uh, clearly, I stand corrected. So I'm the uh, I'm the the odd one out this evening. Uh, I'm not wearing my uniform. I'll be sure to correct that next week. Uh, in fact, I'll wear it. I'll wear two of them next week. I don't even have to. Uh, Crispy, I'm going to need you to send me a second one. Um, I apologize. You got to pay for the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you do. Just send me Just send me your mom's Venmo. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a rush job, so there's yeah, going to be an extra uh, fee on top. It's uh, at K Guthridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. All right. Um, 
Anyways, welcome back to the show, video games. We're here to talk about them. Uh, I'm just going to kind of turn it over to Brad for a, for a hot minute because um, mm. he's been playing some stuff. For Brad was like, minute. I've been playing all the video games, but he didn't start Spider-Man 2, but that's okay. Well, uh, I just got Spider-Man 2 today. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Cool. Yeah, so that's why I didn't What start. have you been playing? You're, this is, are you going to talk about your spooky stuff first? or No, uh, no. Uh, I don't, I'm not. Uh, well, spooky stuff. What you want to talk about? Killer Frequency? That's not a horror game. I hate to break it to you, but let's. Well, talk about I mean, it's Killer like, Frequency. Okay, sorry, Ho- not horror, but it is like Halloweeny, right? Like uh, it's, it's a thriller. I mean, I thought so. That's it's why been I recommended to me it several it's times. A, yes, by Chai Tai, who's been begging fall. you to play it. He's also been yeah. asking me. To, I mean, I'm I'm actually kind of was kind of interested in this when I found out kind of what the game is. So you it's know, like a did, slasher, did, but you he did give me a copy. Um, well, not like, like a slasher. Oh, let me tell you what this is. Killer Frequency. Uh, well, I guess my touchstone is that DLC for Life is Strange that came out. Mm, the last yeah, yeah. series of Life is Strange where you play as the radio DJ. Yeah. You know, the, the girl. The, the, the yeah, True Colors, Colors DLC. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the True Colors DLC. Uh, what was that called? Wavelengths or something? Something like Sounds that. right. Yeah, it was Jeez. Wavelengths. Yeah, where you're taking calls and you're playing a DJ and and you're in the you're in the booth and you're doing all kinds of stuff and you got buttons and you're you know what and what that was a Stranger Thing that was a yes yeah it was a Stranger oh, Things DLC no no no, really no 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 cool. sorry, sorry. Whoa, really whoa, whoa 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 so we, kill- I don't know how many times we've said Stranger Things you're oh, talking about Life, Life is Strange, strange. Life Stranger, stranger yeah. Things is a totally no, different I didn't yeah but strange. but but I knew exactly what you I was with Life you. is Strange yeah that was a Life is Strange DLC and it was good no, not That's a lot of people wild. played that. Um, but here, instead of, you know, um, love and sadness or whatever the fuck that was about, this is about, um, this is about like a, a killer, a killer is on the loose and, uh, the sheriff has been murdered. This is the start of the story. Sheriff has been murdered and you're in a small town and there's like two people that work at the sheriff's office and like one of them has been murdered. So they're like, um, look, we don't have like 50% a of the workforce. We don't have a call, uh, 911 call taker because the only other person is out there is trying to catch this guy. So we need you to take all the 911 calls, radio DJ. So you you go from, uh, you know, Standard playing protocol. records and stuff. Chris, Chris to, Davis, did you see that comment in our chat at twitch.tv slash Oh, there's, mm. there's game audio playing. So 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 Sorry. instead of just being a radio DJ, which by the way, you continue to be a radio DJ between taking your 911 <laughs> calls. <laughs> there's like buddy <laughs> there's some tone issues in this game really. <laughs> um, um you people are calling in saying oh my god the whistling man is here which is like the serial killer and he's trying to kill me what should i do and you're trying to like give them advice to try to help them survive the killing um so so it's kind of like a telltale thing in terms of like you telling them what to do but you're also like using stuff around you know, your booth and then the office to try to like help them out. Like to the right, you'll, you'll see me look at like a big map of the town. Right. And on the floor, I have other stuff that I've used. Like I helped someone hotwire a car and I had to like go into the office of like the, the car like radio show to like find some instructions on how to hotwire a car. And like, they're on the phone and the killer's nearby. And I'm like, cut this wire. You know, you're, 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 and and everything takes place in this small radio station, mostly just this radio booth where you're taking calls and telling people what to do, helping them try to survive. And then are like, you playing they'll music? Be like, in bet- they'll be in like, between. oh my god, I'm I'm hiding, I'm hiding. The killer's here. I'll call back. And then and then the radio guy's like, all right, well, I guess we'll just put on another record. And then uh. you just. <laughs> You just put on another record and it's like, do you want to introduce the song? And it's like Wait. a choice. You're like, I guess I'll introduce the song. And like tonally, it's like they're this also, is so they're all also over live the place. on the radio while they're Yeah, you're live on the air and you're still So the these killer's calls. just listening to the radio being like, yeah. Oh, they're over here. <laughs> I mean like, Hey, hey, so, if I've yeah. learned anything watching slash movies is that killers don't drive cars, therefore they don't have radios to listen to. <laughs> but the thing is so. I have I have access to like like uh, like a soundboard, so like killers are calling in, and I'm doing like woo 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 woo, like sound effects and stuff, or like, like a, you know, like, like a Aah. slide whistle, or like crickets, you uh, know, when people no, call, no, like like it's stuff, it's sound effects like that. You have full control over the booth, oh, like the no, volume levers and stuff. You're a shock you can, like, jock. Oh no. Well, I mean, a, a morning zoo announcer. Morning zoo. Well, I mean, yeah, you yeah. could play it like that, and it it adds a little to the humor, I guess. Um, 
it's not like a funny game. I don't think it's trying to be a funny game. Um, it's a really neat idea. <laughs> it's a really neat idea. And I'm not, I'm not finished with the game or anything. So maybe it does cooler stuff. I mean, when I look at the map on the wall over to the right, it's like super detailed. <laughs> it's like this whole fucking town. And there's a sign on it saying like, this road is closed and you can't go from, from this road to, or get from this intersection to this intersection. There's like a little warning sign. And I'm like, man, this is going to get complicated where I'm going to be guiding someone, telling them where to go to not get killed a cool idea but so, there are some writing issues i don't think this is a well-written game i think to- the tone is all over the place and not in like a cool like you know korean movie way like a bad they don't know what they're doing way um and and like the performances are pretty iffy so it's like it's this cool idea that's somewhat held back by that stuff which probably should be a lot better given that the entire game's taking place in like a radio dj booth um but man that's it's a still shame because it's not very scary or anything i mean it's not no very, i it's not you know i never thrilling, but i wasn't trying to suggest this is a horror game but it, you know no. it is definitely akin to it is it is taking influence from a genre of horror that i am very fond of um and it's honestly one of those genres of horror that like i wish made the jump to video games in some shape or form more often which is why i was really interested in this when uh when i found out about it um it's kind of a shame that it suffers from some of those things because well i mean i'm not to say it's not worth playing like i said it's still a really like fun neat idea and it is kind of fun to like mess with all the The, you know what this strikes me as it's a little weird like being successful at this game means like people aren't dying and i kind of want them to die because in a (laughs) horror movie they die. A slasher movie, people die. And you kind of expect that and maybe want that because that's part of the genre. And I'm just being successful. Like, oh, they, I got away. Thank you, sir. And it's I'm no like, okay. fun if he doesn't get a couple of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like un- playing Until Dawn and being like, I got everybody out alive. But like, did, that, did I really win? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Um, but you know... This and I could be totally off base here, having not played the game at all. I know like the, the game takes place inside the radio booth and maybe a little bit outside, in, like in the building or something. But like, yeah, this strikes me as the kind the of building. game where it, like builds up that expectation, and then by the end of it, like the killer is in the building with you. Like I have, yeah, a few, I think, it, I think you know. it'll it'll be like that. I mean, maybe, yeah, I, that's which could expected. be cool. Yeah. I think that could be. I mean, really especially cool. if the name of the killer was actually video. But like, no. I. I I found this map somewhere in the building no. and I was like downstairs and I'm like, I know there's <laughs> going to be a, fired. I hate, I hate that. <laughs> I know there's going to be a killer that calls in and I'm literally going to be guiding them through this maze. I mean, the actual like puzzle solving and like stuff is like oh, pretty man. scripted and, and not difficult, at least not where I'm at, but um, there this are some like timed me. choices you have to make sometimes that is, it could be a little intense. You know, you could tell someone the wrong thing. This um, just reminded me that, like, this was in the news a few weeks back that apparently, um, fuck, what's the studio that makes Until Dawn? Oh, Supermassive. Mm-hmm. Supermassive apparently got the rights to to make a screen that video is, game. That is pretty cool. And mm. I'm like, ooh, that could be mm. really fucking cool. Like, that's kind of what I, that's kind of just what I want. <laughs> like, maybe I mean, that's. Honestly, I, mean, I, I, I take the Scream series with as much seriousness as I take a Supermassive game like yeah, the quarry sure. so i think it's a good fit but but like oh last thing i'll say we do need we should move on from this game is like is like you have a producer who you're talking to like through like uh uh you know like she's in the other room and you press a button to talk to her and she's kind of like your second oh, she gonna like, die. Throughout the story she's talking oh, to you throughout the story helping you make choices and stuff but she's very much like obscure like even when you go up there you can't even really like see her and it's all just like kind of her silhouette and the red background it's like she's totally gonna get murdered in that booth and that'll be a oh cool yeah so, oh yeah or yeah, like so she you, is like so one even of the killers or something even if you save everybody in town, you're at least going to get to see her die. Like, that's oh, almost for sure. for sure. If I screw up <laughs> or if I play good, I'm not going to get any excitement, I guess. Right, right. But yeah, uh, um, that's Killer Frequency. I will probably keep playing this game. You know, it, this it was, was actually, I, I'm okay. still, I have like a short list of games that I, I, I would like to stream because I haven't streamed at all in October and I want to do like a little horror stream because I did I one last know. year. This is, this is on my short stream. list. I don't this know if, how much list. fun people have watching it. it. And it might be because there's not much to look at. And like the, it's paced like pretty slowly where it's like, all right, I kind of just want the next like victim to fucking call here, but I'm just, 
I'm actually just playing records. And, oh, they're like, put in one of those cassette tapes and listen to that full ad. You're putting ads in and it's like, okay, <laughs> I guess this is supposed to be funny, but it's more just like, come on, get to the next victim. Gotcha. So, yeah, yeah. This right. game would be really cool if like it had mixer integration. Like you could control it, a, a real life mixer to control what's happening in the game. That'd be like, that would be... That, I you would. can control the the mixer. I don't know. No, no, but I mean, like I, he, an actual real life mixer. Oh, are there games that do that? Game. DJ, I, you, you know? <laughs> oh, like, DJ but, Hero. Oh shit! What if they brought back the DJ Hero controller for this game? <laughs> Hero, I'm sure DJ someone's Hero modded it. Yeah. That would be fucking um, rad. Uh, the other game I've been playing uh, that I I thought was a little more interesting is uh, Leica subtitle. Yeah. Leica like through, through through age blood. through blood, I think is what it's called. Like that. Like uh, a hurricane. I, I, yeah, age this through is, blood. I played the demo. This for is this. a trials. <laughs> take trials. Um, Was my make it a Metroidvania? Add in some gunplay, and and uh, make it really, really difficult. And because got, that's what everyone wanted: trials with guns. I mean, no, dude. I mean, it's I. Tri- I it's, yeah. <laughs> I love trials and I think adding in, in like really difficult, like sequences where you have to kill a bunch of people and you die in like one hit is like a good fit. Like, like, like this is a really like challenging punishing game where it's easy to like die really quickly, but I feel like that's pretty on brand for trials, which yeah, is a very the difficult trials DNA series. right there. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of like a, like a, oh, my name audio is, again. Fix my name. Sorry. My name. Is Pedro? What's that fucking game called? My friend Pedro. My friend, My friend Pedro. Pedro. Or, you know, yeah. like, like a game where you're just kind of like busting into a room and you have to like kill everybody in like one stylish maneuver. Like it's like that, but you're on a dirt bike or something, right? And this is a Metroidvania, and mm-hmm. and and it's it's a lot. The reason it's very challenging is not just because like one shot fucking kills you and you're back to the checkpoint. But it, it's it's some of like these really weird mechanics where I have when I you start the game you have a gun with like two shots right, and mm-hmm. you know the, with shooting the enemies is a one shot kill right. Um, I've upgraded it now to like have three shots with this default pistol. Once you're out of bullets, the way you reload is by doing a backflip. You literally can't shoot your gun again until you do a backflip to reload. The only other thing you could do Damn. is like reflect a bullet back at the enemy by like. Uh, tapping the button you use to like sh- shift directions you kind of just like flip your bike to the side to like reflect a bullet back you can do that once at least at the start of the game that you only get the ability to do that back if you do a front flip <laughs> so like mm-hmm. doing tricks during combat is how you have the ability to keep killing things and you have to keep flipping and stuff or you're going to run out of resources you need and you will die super quick so it's but, just a challenging game that where you're juggling a lot to the point and, and, and it has a high skill ceiling. I, I feel like you really have to build up a muscle memory to get truly good at this game. Um, Cause it'll, it's unforgiving. It'll kick your ass. I mean, so, trials is bad enough when you just had to stay upright. Now I'm having to kill all these people at the same time and it's tough, but the vibe who's, who's asking the question. I'm sorry. I mean, I was just asking like with, so you got to bounce reload mechanics with the don't didn't you said you die very easily. Like when you flip One over shot. on your head, like does yeah, that you kill dare. you too? That's it. That's it. You, you could be dare. in a boss fight Shit. and, and there ha- I have done a couple of boss fights. You can be in a boss fight, a long boss fight. And if you land bad on any of those flips, that's it. You're going back to the checkpoint. It's a punishing game, but, oh, but it's man. one where you can, you can sense, you can feel the skill ceiling and you, I have like a desire to get good at it, especially because when you do pull off an amazing, like, like kill this guy, kill this guy, shoot the rocket that's flying towards me, backflip, kill two more people and land perfectly. It feels good. You might die a bunch of times, but when you pull it off, you're like, dude, like I know it, it, it's the kind of thing where you might be really be struggling at an encounter, but at the same time, you know that like by the end of this game, you will look back on this encounter and it'll be a fucking joke. And I, and I like games that have that sort of uh, skill progression, right? Um, 
you know, it reminds me of like M plus or whatever, where I was struggling at levels that by the time I finished that game, you know, I could one shot, right? Like literally levels I've, I did well trials trials is the perfect example of that. Right. You know, like I might be stuck on a level for hours, but by the time I mastered the game, I can one shot that level. And it kind of feels like that here with these encounters, but I will say like, it is a Metroidvania, you know, with, you know, exploration and secrets and upgrades. And there's like a crafting system and whatnot. And like yeah. the story is, it's a post-apocalyptic story and like people, young people and stuff are like dying. And it's very like, like, it's very much it, it has like the road energy kind of to it where it's like you, you also know, play as fantastic mr fox my, um <laughs> i play as this woman who's just trying to like you know take care of my vill- town is it a lady and, fox and yeah it's a lady fox and oh, like my, <laughs> my my kid i'm trying i'm still like collecting toys out in the world to give to my kid because i just want her to have a childhood even though i know there's like no chance of that that sort of thing right you know saving one bullet you know so i can oh god shoot her so she can kill her you know it's 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 like a very dark serious story but it's you know it's post-apocalyptic and it's very vibey and the music in this game is like you're finding Legit. cassettes in the world and the music is crazy there's like it's like full-on <laughs> lyrics some of this music it's it's like um it's good shit like watch a maybe you'll like watch a trailer for this or something obviously you're not hearing the game well maybe you would you were hearing the game a little bit earlier um like i i've consistently blown away by like i'm playing this game this very difficult uh trial to action game and then a song will come on that's just like uh i mean i don't even know emotional how to it. yeah it's, it's it's like fucking emotional like indie <laughs> music like folk indie folk and it's like lyrics will start will come on and it's like wow man this is a vibe like this is a very vibey game for his for his game is as difficult and like punishing as it can be like man it's got i'm almost driven forward by purely on vibes alone so like check out this fucking soundtrack even if you don't play this game because when it's I, it's pretty when I played fucking this wild demo. When I played this demo, I actually really liked it. I but it like it was super punishing, and then I I kept thinking to myself like, oh man, I could sit here probably and play this demo for like two hours because it's just super punishing, and then I'm gonna have to like relearn all of this like muscle memory again later when the game actually comes out. So I was like, I I only played it for like twenty minutes, but I was like, this game has hell of a vibe and it feels but, really nice. Yeah, it has a good look to it. I found it extremely compelling. I mean, I'm a huge Trials fan and. I love my Metroidvanias and I like the idea of like this sort of flow of combat system is, is very appealing to me, honestly, like the idea of having to like constantly do tricks just to survive in a fight just seems cool to me. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. It, even though, you know, there's a lot of friction here, but man, I mean, shoe in already for soundtrack of the year for me, because it's like, whew, like I'm consistently nice. shocked by how good the fucking music is. What a nice. vibe um so yeah that's like uh age through blood i know it's a tough kind of a tough time of the year to like squeeze in like indies here and there but um you know i'm still it, working my way, way through fucking this Baldur's game Day. just out of curiosity because this is actually one yeah. of those games that i was like contemplating bidding on for fantasy critic but i was I like i don't good. i haven't i haven't seen any of the reviews for it yet but i don't know uh, i think it's doing i good. opted out of it and i kind of maybe regret it this I mean, is it's from, one of those ones that I'd be surprised if many critics are even playing it right now. It's, just it's like it's of, like fucking uh, Gravity Circuit, which, by the way, still only has fourteen reviews. <laughs> which this yeah, game has criminal. this game has four reviews, and it's sitting at an eighty-one, and that's mainly because CG Magazine gave it a seven, which dragged it mm-hmm. down. Everybody else gave it a nine. And let me guess, um, they probably said it was really fucking hard. Probably, like this game is surprisingly yeah. hard. This is, uh, which is this is interesting. The the developer is uh, Brainwash Gang, and they uh, also developed Friends vs. Friends early this year. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. This is uh, very different. Sounds more like a publisher, um, but... Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. No, there's the a demo. The head up game. Uh, or is that the developer? Hold on. There's a demo, and I believe the demo is from the start of the game, so it will kind of ease you into it. It doesn't carry over, though, from what I noticed. I had to restart the game. But it was the kind of thing where I had played enough to where I could blast through the stuff that kind of I struggled with early on uh, when I did restart the whole, the game after the demo. So, uh, right. but definitely try the demo if, if you're kind of liking what you see. But you know, everyone likes trials. But Brad, just, did just, you ever get, just feel the vibes? Did you ever get 
my uh, <laughs> the fuck our Steam library thing still not working for you? Yeah, it's not working. Ah, damn done. it. I'm oh, not shit. doing anything. It's all yeah. you, bro. I'm not, not doing anything. It's not all me. Anything. Carlos just complained about something going on with your library, too. He does. He keeps losing access, so. I, I mean, <clears throat> unless um, it literally I, I have, takes I still have access, access to away Crispies and Nolans. Crispies and Nolans. Is it because I'm changing my password? I that should not affect think it now. that should be it, but. Um, then I have not a conversation for the show. Yeah, it's not a conversation for the show. Yeah. Um, and I've been playing other stuff, honestly, because probably because I've been doing streams here and there. I'll cover those in my four player minute because I don't have footage for them and no one really wants to hear about Wargroup. So, um, yeah, that's it for me. Well, um, I mean, really, all we have. Should I just transition is... to my four player minute? <laughs> I mean, sh- <laughs> sure, if you want to. We're going to well, come that's in. Why, well that's why under... I have been playing other stuff. Um, I've been outside of a lot of. Um, pikmin 4 i've i've been, I've been you circled gradually back pikmin, huh? 100 percenting pikmin 4 i don't want to be but i've i've been i do want to be it's a, actually a great game in ways that we really haven't even covered on this podcast there's there's so much more going on in this game than i realized and i'm consistently uh it's just a really enjoyable game really fucking enjoyable um but i got i got kind of like stuck and i'm like i don't know what i'm supposed to do i guess i'll just hit, hundred percent all these stages and i'm like well that's not what i was supposed to do but it was fun to hundred percent all these stages um but yeah it's really good i'll talk about it more towards the end of the year i guess um or maybe i'll i'll do like a little thing on here once i i finish it because it's 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 it really is one of the best games of this year and i think uh more y'all need to try it uh but but Real quick, the other games I, w- I was going to mention, I did pick up Wargroove 2, and I picked up Wargroove 2 not because I really wanted to play a game like Advance Wars. I mean, I got a couple of Advance Wars games this year, um, and I did like that first game a lot. It was more because I was super intrigued by this rogue-like mode that they made. They specifically made an entire mode, um, ju- like, and made it a roguelike, which if you kind of know how Advance Wars works, you know that that doesn't... You really have to sort of, like, re organize and think about how a game like this works to kind of structure it like a roguelike and the way they do it is kind of interesting because you're not constantly generating like like units and stuff in battle you're generating them sort of like between stages the the decisions you make in a roguelike you know of like oh i choose this upgrade or i'm going to choose this drink this potion or whatever um before i go to the next part of this roguelike adventure um they a lot of those decisions you made in the bat in the battle of like a regular advanced war style battle you're now making like between battle like what units to kind of purchase or upgrade or heal or even they even have like equipment which is weird because you know you think of units more disposable in an advanced war style game but here they can't be disposable because it's like a roguelike mode and every hit point for every one of your units is important because every battle is you know could be your last it's a it's a cool it's a cool mode and it's literally the only thing I've really touched in that game. I haven't been playing the campaigns. I have experienced some, you know, new units and stuff. So it's been cool, but, uh, you know, it's war groove. It, it's advanced wars. It, it, I, y'all don't care. You know, uh, maybe we'll talk about it later. Crispy. And then, uh, the only other thing is, uh, I've been playing this series of games called I'm on observation duty and I've played, I'm on observation duty one and I'm on observation duty five. I think those are the two that I played in this series for reasons. Um, and it's a really cool series where you're flipping through cameras and you know, don't, don't immediately jump to FNAF. It's not really like FNAF. Um, I've never heard anybody call it. It's almost like a, like a missing object game. It's almost like a missing object game. Um, you're swapping between like, like security cameras to find anomalies. And it's like a horror game. And like you're, you have to really pay attention because as you're flipping through these cameras, if you notice a missing object or an extra object or an object move or like some other like anomaly or there's a person standing in the corner naked holding his balls looking at you, you notate all the anomalies. You have to like very quickly notate anomalies that's an anomaly and not get flustered because as you're flipping through these cameras, you have to notice the differences because if too many anomalies build up and you're not noticing them, then you're going to lose the stage. And it's like this pretty fun series of games and like you can get the first one for like three bucks and i recommend it if you just want like a really fun thing especially if you're playing with other people in the room or streaming or whatever would be a good cheap halloween game the gimmick works it's very fun the series is called 
I'm on observation duty. And there's like six of them. (laughs) Um, Just just, if you're going to play it, like it's a game about memorization. So like take your Yinko beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. It's a game where where I'm screaming at chat and they're screaming at me. up like, I think the rug moved or I'm pretty sure there was the uh, painting there or a plant there. And you just have to like guess. And it's, it's a pretty fun, silly game. Good Halloween-y thing. So I guess that one was a horror game sort of. Um, Nick, but it's more of like a puzzle. I game. mean, it's you weird. did just call it a horror game a minute ago. So yeah, this one's kind of a horror game. So yeah, that's it. I know it was a long four player minute, but I guess it was the rest of my impressions. So yeah, eh, there that. we go. Look at that. Oh, well, we wow. have plenty of time for for once. We actually have plenty of time for the four player minute. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't know how these things well. happen. This is the most bizarre fucking show I think we've ever done. Uh, Nolan, wh- that's uh, what? definitely not true. That's definitely not true. That's right. Uh, Nolan, what's uh, what's up? What's, hit hit us with your four player minute. Hey, my four player minute starts now. Um, all right, so my hype, uh, obviously, uh, if, if anyone's been in our Discord over at discord.gg slash four player, um, is uh, I've been uh, into Pokemon uh, recently. So a lot's been going on with that. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go with Burn today. We go out and play. We've kind of gotten a little bit into our local community. Um, they added a feature in the game not too long ago that if you do a, lo- a local raid, uh, so if you you participate in a raid in a local place and there are other people who are locally there with you, they can send you a friend request after the raid ends. Um, weird thing happened. Guy sent me a friend request. I was like, whatever, fine. Added him. A it was week or two Rick goes Marines. by. Right. A week or two go by. I happen to be doing another local raid and that guy pops up. That means like he is within... You know, when you're doing a local raid, you got to be within like 50, 60 from, feet. It's coming yeah, from inside and, the house, Nolan. And so I'm sitting in my car, and like a guy walks up to my window. <gasps> He's like, hey, God. are you the infamous Nolan? And I was like, uh, yes. Uh, and so it, he, he ended up being a nice guy. He actually runs a Discord for the, the local community here. Uh, we kind of got the talking and stuff like that. Um, he's he, he's more in, in, into like a, the the PvP kind of uh, part of it, but it, it was just kind of a weird scenario. But like I said, kind of been into Pokemon lately, which kind of leads into a, another thing. Um, for those that didn't know, uh, they're actually shutting down the DS uh, online uh, functionality early next uh, year. Um, uh, with the exception of uh, Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transfer, which are the legacy things for getting your Pokemon from DS games to the more modern stuff. Um, but they've essentially said, hey, that is going to go away, though. Um, so that sent me off on, because I have been in more into Pokemon lately, that sent oh. me off on a, a little... Uh, oh uh, my god. He, I've, I've gotten Pokemon, Pokemon games. games aren't cheap. What the hell? They, well, uh, so, so hold on. If, you, if you're if you smart about it, like GameStop was doing like a buy two, get one, and when they're on sale, like I, I trust me, I've, I've not paid full price for any of these. I've been I've been doing my best, uh, but I will note that some of the older games, holy shit, they are. Well, for the listeners at home, expensive. what are you holding there? Yeah. Uh, so uh, okay, so I got Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, uh, and then I got uh, just Pokemon Sun, and then I have uh, Brilliant Diamond, uh, Shining Pearl, and then Sword and Shield, and uh, let's go Pikachu. Uh, because I actually stopped playing Pokemon a while back um uh because it just gotten too repetitive and i think i was just maybe at a weird place in my life but anyway i'm back into it uh and i've got to i've missed a lot uh and so i'm trying to catch up and i've also debated on trying to create potentially a uh a living dex uh which is the concept of having one of every pokemon um so you would have a charmander a bulbasaur you know a squirtle a charmeleon you would have one of everything you wouldn't actually um, let them you wouldn't actually let them evolve. You mean you wouldn't actually let them evolve? Well, no, so you, you would have to evolve. But so yeah, instead of just having the the Dex entry, where so you get a Charmander, you evolve it into a Charmeleon, you evolve it into a Charizard. That's step one. But now you need another Charmander to evolve into Charmeleon and another Charmander. So now that is a living Dex because you right. have one of each. Um, gotcha. So I've been debating on uh, doing something like that. Uh, I don't know. Wow. We'll see. What about doing a Nuzlocke run? I'm not going to no. do a Nuzlocke run. No, thank you. What uh, is that? Uh, no, it, we don't need to get into that now. <laughs> um, but the other thing that's been, uh, you know, taking up my time recently is uh, my house. Uh, I've been here for like six months now, and there are still so many boxes. Has it so really been things. six months? Yeah, uh, about. Um, and God, that so, flew by fast. A little bit less than six months. Um, more than six months since I bought it. I don't. I didn't move in right away. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's still so many things I need to do around here, and I've been trying to get to those. Um, 
and, and that's kind of taking up a little bit of my time. Uh, but anyway, uh, the last thing I want to say for my very, very long four player minute um, is if you're listening to us live, this will be more relevant. Um, Evil Within is currently free on Epic Game Store uh, for the next, uh, as of this moment, uh, I believe 48 hours. Uh, until the 26th thing at 11 p.m. Uh, but then uh, Evil Within 2 becomes free. Uh, if you've never played either of those games, they are both very, very good. Uh, highly recommend it, especially for free. Uh, I so think that means something, that especially coming from Nolan, considering, you, you know, Nolan, you're not like a huge like horror person or anything. So mm-hmm. like, I'm not. I think that speaks it, more to like the, the gameplay than anything, too. For sure. They, they, they have fantastic games with fantastic systems. Um, while there is a horror element to them, uh, they are, I think, they are have great stories they are written greatly and the the gameplay is just really good so evil within one is good evil within two is excellent uh i I tend to agree agree with with that that. i tend to agree with that um i like maybe the first one even more cool well that's my all right thank you crispy well, today saw the release of a game that I've been curious about for a while, and I hope it's good, and it kind of looks like it might be good. Uh, Return to Moria, Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I it's forgot that it existed. You, it's like, uh, yeah, it takes place in the Fourth Age, and Wait. you play dwarves going to reclaim... That would be a Moria. good co-op night, wouldn't it? Like it would that would be, be. It would. It's it's like a four. That's player like co-op Deep Rock Galactic, but survival. like Lord of the Rings, right? Well, well it's a survival the game crafting. Is actually, game. not poop, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's, if it's not poop, poop it might yeah. not be fun. <laughs> but, but that's like, you know. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. I don't think it's poop. It looks pretty cool. Uh, what's the full title of that game? Lord of the Rings: Return to Moria. Mm-hmm. it looks cool so, i want to play it but you know i'm also still trying to complete assassin's creed or oh my god I just whoa you're playing assassin's creed. no what? i'm not Crispy, no i'm playing armored core i just keep what thinking ac6 uh-huh. i just keep thinking ac6 and then like my the brain tried to assassin's decode creed. ac and it went assassin's creed <laughs> instead of armored ace core combat. ace combat 6 uh, came out in 2007 uh, 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 playing oh, animal crossing the sixth animal yeah, crossing game? the sixth animal Crossing. has there been I, six animal crossing games oh yeah there has actually. yeah i think Probably, so yeah it was, it was like yeah i don't know anyway there was uh, two before we i'm playing armored core game. i still technically haven't finished Baldur's gate <laughs> I started Spider Man, and I still have to start Super Mario Wonder. Oh, I hate video games. I'm done. They're sleeping giants, man. You know, in a week, 1.0 for Luna Sid comes out. If you like a Kingsfield uh, type of game, it's gonna be sick. Mm. Oh and, man! Uh, all right. That's it for me. I uh, just an embarrassment of riches. An embarrassment of riches. It's a good problem to have. All right, Chris Davis. And uh, Crispy, I really would love for you to prioritize Baldur's Gate three because I need somebody else to talk to with How does about that feel, this Crispy? game. How does that feel coming from Chris Davis? Because I need someone it's else to talk great. to with oh, me my. about this game. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> It's it's so good. Like, come on, man. get through this Dungeons and Dragons uh, Larian game, uh, crispy. You wouldn't know anything about those, man. Um. So my four player minute, uh, I guess, uh, it's would be a recommending split of, uh, Baldur's Gate to crispy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 about my brand new PC that I'm still ah uh, yes the problem the child out on the problem uh, child. It is it is a hype and a sweat because it's hype because it is beefy and quiet, but it's a sweat because of the many production issues we've had tonight and uh, the lack of iTunes. You listening to any good uh, music lately? I I, why the fuck do I need iTunes to install a codec to do audio and stream? I don't understand. The, the and then just thing. right now it popped up on my screen saying activate windows so i'm like what 
Hey, what? don't click anything until we finish this recording. For I'm the love not. Of God. I am not. So okay. like, but I am. I am very excited to actually test the system out. The only game I've I played a little bit so far of is Crisis Remastered because it's an obligation. Uh, <laughs> but I'm I'm looking forward to like Starfield and installing that and trying that out and just kind of pushing to see what the limit is with my new rig. Um, but the best part is that it's so fucking quiet. Oh my god, it's it is amazing. That's the like, best part. You just got a quiet man, case or something? How loud was your last PC? Yeah, what's the? <laughs> Let me put it this way: uh, the whenever you got my audio each week, the noise canceling from uh, Shadow Play was pretty strong because it. Had Wait, to are be. you saying are you saying the white noise that I did? here was not your like fan that was your like pc making that noise it could be sometimes yeah you oh. recommended that case to like multiple people here oh my Chris god Davis. wait what it's case not, did it, you have it's not the one that i have is it i think it's the one i have too no well the problem was is that i loaded mine up with fans for every single port sure that... so like i had like nine fans that's a lot of fucking fans. Why okay, you do that for yourself, but not recommend it for us? His, well, for, his PC you know was you filled can, with only fans. <laughs> you know you can just buy quiet fans, right? Oops, they do oh, exist. Yeah, well, I I didn't know of Noctua and stuff at the time to to buy quality fans from. So the point I is, I have learned this new fan. This new PC has uh, four fans in it and an AIO, and everything's Noctua, so it's perfect. Perfect. Let's but also not- congratulate Chris Davis on swapping the light bulbs out of the sh- of the, the the overhead yeah. light in his room. I it's no but, longer bathed in yellow. <laughs> yeah, but but here's the reason: is that I I spent twenty dollars on light bulbs. Oh, we don't need a reason. Just so I could look at my analog pocket. And oh, you see gotta it as be blue me. for the color it's supposed to be. Are you? Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. The lighting in your room has been yellow, like that bright, ugly, like yellow light for like years. Because it came with my apartment. And you went out and bought new daylight light bulbs for your room so you could see what color your, what is that called? My analog pocket. Your analog pocket, which we're having a little bit of a dress moment. Is this blue or is this purple, right? That's kind of what's happening here? Yes. So like you couldn't tell which color it actually was. So you went out to a store and bought new light bulbs for the for your for your. It was an excuse light? for me to get light bulbs, but kind of yes. It was it was wow. the trigger that, that caused was, it. I just assumed like a light bulb went out and you're just like, fuck it. I guess it's time. That's amazing. I'm sorry. That's amazing. Are you looking at the bod differently too at this new lighting? You know how's <laughs> how's the schlong looking? What's give us the deets? Nope, nope. Don't even. You know what? No, casting a better <laughs> okay. shadow. Yeah. <laughs> How? What game are you playing on that thing? It's it's casting a longer shadow. I think is what you're. Yeah, yeah. it's nicer. It's, a little it's bit not as thicker. sickly looking in the, in the yellow. It's, light. it's not as sickly looking. Oh my god. It's okay. Like the piss. <laughs> that is not the subtitle for the uh, show. Nick. Not this week. No, it's not. But you two would not approve shadow. It, Take it us might home, be a, Nick. It might be the longer shadow show. All right. Put my four player bed. minutes. My four player minute starts now. I just want to talk. For, it's 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 been a long time coming, uh, but this week in actually two days uh, is the release of Alan Wake Two. It's the direct sequel to one of my favorite games of all time. I've been looking forward to it for a very long time. I can't even. It's one of those games that I was like, I can't even believe it exists, and it's coming out in two days. Um, I'm also very nervous about it because it's also one of my. Uh, you know, it's it's one of the the, the quote unquote heavy hitters on my fantasy critic and i would like to see it perform um but you know you know how these things are sometimes these things don't hit the same for everybody so i don't i don't know what it's gonna be um but that is not gonna change the fact that i am in fact very very excited uh for that game so i'm actually taking friday off and i my plan my plan is to uh you know basically plow through that game in like is any, what, is two or three sittings. getting this on steam please is anybody I'm, getting? No, I'm getting nope. it on PS5. Um, Which game? Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. Oh, no. um, in fact, it's actually available to preload now because I did pre-order it. Uh, so I'm going to preload that shit probably It's digital tonight. only. 
I mean, are you telling me you trust your digital library more with Sony than you do with Steam? Hey, I, no, but here's what I, I, I think it's worth pointing out that like it, it's it's a it's a big moment for me. Like you know, there was a time when past Nick would have been devastated by the fact that they said Alan Wake Two was digital only, and I oh. am just more excited about the fact that it exists and I'm going to be playing it in two days. I don't even give a shit that it's digital only. I feel like that is a they big step for you. me. They finally got you. They It's down. a big, it's a big oh, step for me. It's, it's not coming to Steam. Oh yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's it's uh, epic. EGS epic epic games only uh, on Can't PC. They just give it to me for free. Then? Eggs. Damn you, epic. How um, dare you judge for games? But hey, you know, I really, really, I'm one of the people who really, really liked Control and like the DLC they did for Alan Wake, uh, and that and like how those universes are connected now is just really neat. Um, I've actually kind of more or less been on a blackout for Alan Wake. I didn't. I haven't really watched anything since that first very short snippet of gameplay that they showed so i'm i'm more or less going in blind there are a few things that kind of snuck past me um that i that i heard about but i don't know i'm just i'm just really excited to dive in and play that game and it's coming out right before halloween so like that's super fucking awesome that's gonna be my weekend it's rainy and cloudy here and it's gonna be that way for the next like eight to ten days um so i'm just gonna like lock myself in my room and play fucking alan wake over the weekend it's just gonna be a, it's gonna be a whole vibe i'm i'm really excited um but yeah that's it i'll be talking about that next week on the podcast which again i remind everybody dex tuesday is halloween so whatever we whenever we record it won't be tuesday we'll let everybody and i'm know. sorry if there's any mario fans out there uh we will be talking we, about mario extensively next week as well. yes i did uh, just on a side note because yesterday i popped into discord and i was like I started playing Mario Wonder over my my lunch you break. You played thirty and minutes like, and you said I played next. thirty minutes, but but here's the thing: I played thirty you minutes, but I had good. like I had I had like forty five minutes left in my lunch break, right? And I played it for thirty, and then I was like, I could stop right now. And I was like, but it's not a bad game. I'm going to talk about it next week. But like, Nick I played it today. So Let's end the show. Shit. Let's end the show. I before think you, I was you, in. You, I would think I was in, in a bad place yesterday. I think it was in a bad place yesterday because I played it today and I was like, yeah, this, this game's pretty good. This game's pretty good. So we'll go deeper into Super Mario Bros. Wonder next week. Um, and with that, that's going to be our show. It's been a weird one, guys, but I hope you enjoyed it. 4playernetwork.com is, of course, our website where you can find all of our episodes and all the information about subscribing and all that good stuff. So check that out. Uh, of course, more importantly, though, if you're not in our Discord yet, you should be. It's discord.gg slash 4player. We invite anybody and everybody who likes to talk about video games to join us there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Happy Halloween. If we don't record before Halloween, have a lovely, safe Halloween, and we'll, we'll see you next week. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.